Hello students, welcome to RD Chemistry. In this video, I'll explain the packing efficiency and density of solids. And after that, we will solve some problems. What is this uh, packing efficiency? The fraction of the total space which may be filled by the hard particles, atoms or ions is called as the packing fraction. Or the percentage of the total space occupied by the hard spheres is called as the packing efficiency. We have to study packing efficiency, the simple cube, body centered cube and the face centered cube. The first one is the primitive or simple cubic unit cell, SC. Now in case of simple cube, the particles are present only at the corners. Okay. Now in this case, edge length A is equal to 2R. A is the edge length, R is the radius. Therefore, radius is equal to A divided by 2. Okay. So what is the packing fraction here? Packing fraction is equal to pi divided by 6, which is equal to 0.524. We can convert into the percentage, multiply by 100, so we will get a 52.4 percentage and the coordination number is equal to 6 here. Now what is the example for the simple cubic unit cell? One of the example is a polonium, PO. PO stands for the polonium. PO stands for the polonium here. Okay, right? Next one is the face centered cubic lattice or the CCP which is a cubic close packing. Here. The particles are present in the center of the face, also in the corners. Okay. So we have got 4 into R. 4 R is equal to square root of 2A. Therefore, radius R is equal to square root of 2A divided by 4, which can be further simplified by multiply by square root of 2 divided by square root of 2, you will get finally r is equal to a divided by 2 root 2 that is given here and packing fraction is equal to square root of 2 pi divided by 6 is equal to 0 0.74. This is a fraction. Multiply 100 will get 74 percentage and coordination number is equal to 12. What are the examples here? Copper is the example. Remember copper vessel, silver, AU, gold and platinum, jewelry items, okay. Next one is the body centered cubic lattice which is known as BCC. Here, the particle is there in the center of the body, one particle and there are corner particle 18 number. Now we have got the 4R is equal to square root of 3A which comes during the uh, packing efficiency derivation, correct. Therefore, radius R is equal to square root of 3A divided by 4 clear student that is what is given here and packing fraction is equal to square root of 3 pi divided by 8 which is equal to 0.68 this is the fraction multiply 100 you get to 68 percentage also remember here the coordination number is equal to 8 what are the example for bcc remember lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium you know that all these are group number one elements clear other than this, we have got D block element like iron and manganese, okay, from the D block element. Clear? Now, let's see close packing in crystals. So, we can have one dimension, two dimension, and three dimension. So, here in this video, let me tell about the two dimension and three dimensions, okay. But three dimensions are very important for us because we can visualize the solid in case of three dimension. So, the first type of the arrangement is, you know that AA type arrangement, it will lead to the square close packing and the packing efficiency it is a 52.4 percentage and the coordination number is equal to 4. You have to remember this one, okay. Second type is the ABAB type arrangement, it is leads to the hexagonal close packing and efficiency is a 60.4 percentage and the coordination number is equal to 6, okay, which are studied during a board syllabus. You must have visualized the diagrams also, right? So let's see the three-dimensional close packing, which is very important for us. So in three-dimensional, we can have ABAB type arrangement, which is called as the hexagonal close packing, and the packing efficiency is 74 percentage. Coordination number is equal to 12. Similarly, in three-dimensional, we can also have ABC ABC pattern, 
which will lead to the cubic close packing is also called the phase centered cubic lattice okay and the packing efficiency is 68 percentage and the coordination number is same 12 okay how will you calculate density of the solid we have the formula density of the solid rho or d is equal to z m divided by a cube n a z stand for number of atom per unit cell for simple cube z is equal to 1 bcc z is equal to 2 fcc z is equal to 4 m stand for the molar mass a stand for the edge length of the unit cell and na stand for the avogadro number which is equal to exact number is 6.023 into 10 power 23 particles particles can be atoms or molecule per mole it is okay right one of the one important solvent study is a sodium chloride okay we don't study about the sodium chloride structure in detail in the board syllabus but many questions are asked in the competitive examination okay now see here we have got a, a chloride chloride then is in contact with the sodium ion and then it is contact with the chloride ion so it is a uh, goes like this okay alternately sodium and chloride okay so i'll take one phase of the phase centered cubic lattice see in the corners remember always chlorides are there in the corner chloride particles are there in the corner chloride particles are there and in the middle on the edge center there is a sodium particle okay sodium particle you know this student this is the length called the edge length a that means uh, this is the center of the chloride this is the center of the chloride that means uh, this edge length is uh, equal to a length okay that means chloride to chloride distance is a or sodium to sodium distance is equal to a now this is uh, the radius of the anion this also radius of the anion correct this is the diameter diameter has got two radii the radius of the two cations okay that means uh, two radius of the cation plus two radius of the anion is equal to one edge length okay or two into radius of the cation plus radius of the anion is equal to in terms of a this is meant only for sodium chloride structure so depending on the ionic compound we can have different different types of the relationships here between the radius and the edge length here so you have to remember this one commonly asked clear question number one if the distance between the sodium and chloride ions in sodium chloride is a x picometer the length of the edge of the unit cell is let's take a chloride this is the chloride particle this is the sodium particle this is the chloride particle Chloride to chloride is known as the edge length A actually. Okay, edge length A. Okay. Now here they are given the distance between the sodium and the chloride. So take uh, the nucleus of the chloride and the nucleus of the sodium. This distance they are given, this distance is equal to x. Okay. Altogether, how many such distance are there? There are two are there. This side also x. That means uh, A is uh, in terms of 2x. Clear? But that is in terms of now picometer. Clear? So, what is the option number? Option number is a fourth one here. Clear? 2x picometer. Right? Question number 2. The radius of the sodium and chloride ions are given 95 picometer and 181 picometer. The edge length of the sodium chloride is. Okay? So, we have got chloride. We have got sodium here. Again, we have got chloride. Okay? So, chloride to chloride distance is nothing but the edge length here. Correct? Right? Now, this edge length A is in terms of 2 times the radius of the cation plus radius of the anion. Correct? Clear? So, edge length A is equal to into radius of the cation is given. How much? It is a 95 picometer plus that of the anion. How much is given? 181 picometer. Clear? So, finally, we get A is equal to about 552 picometer. Clear, students? So, what is the answer? Answer is option number 3, 552 picometer. Clear? Question number three, volume occupied by single cesium chloride ion pair in a crystal is given some cm cube is given volume in terms of the centimeter cube. The smallest cesium to cesium internuclear distance is equal to the length of the side of the cube corresponding to the volume of one cesium chloride ion pair. Therefore, 
smallest cesium chloride internuclear distance is equal to question is the smallest internuclear distance is equal to given here length of the side of the cube what is length of the side of the cube that is nothing but the edge length a actually you are supposed to find out edge length a okay right now this cesium chloride actually cesium chloride structure actually belongs to bcc pattern body centered cube okay see already drawn this uh, cube here now in case of bcc here cesium chloride cesium is there in the center one particle there in the center rest corner particles are occupied by the chloride how many corner particles are there eight corner particles are there all corner particles are chloride now cesium is the center contribution is one chlorides are there in the corners eight are there into contribution is the one by it is equal to one that means uh, one cesium one chloride that means uh, one unit cell one unit cell of the bcc means is equal to one cesium chloride formula that means uh, the entire one cesium chloride is there in the unit cell and its volume is given volume is equal to how much 7.014 into 10 power minus 23 cm cube okay one unit cell contains one cesium chloride ion pair one cesium and one chloride so one ion pair there okay so volume is nothing but a cube a cube is equal to 7.014 into 10 power minus 23 into the cm cube okay right now let me convert this a cube into a cube is equal to so let me take 70.14 into 10 power minus 24 cm cube correct which is a is equal to so 70.14 cube root of this one 1 by 3 to the power right into 10 power minus 24 to the power 1 by 3 correct cube root cm cube will be to the power 1 by 3 correct so when you solve this problem, you will get a is equal to. Now, let me take power first. Becomes 10 power minus 8 in terms of centimeter. Okay. Or 10 power minus 8 into 10 power minus 2 meters. Correct. 1 meter is equal to, 1 centimeter is equal to 10 power minus 2 meters. Okay. Clear. Now, I have got 70.14 to the power 1 by 3. If I take. 4 to the power 3, I'll get uh, approximately 64. Okay, if I take 1.3 cube of it, that one, it will be like is equal to 79.5. So, it is the closest answer. Closest answer should be 4 to the power 3. Correct? Clear? Right? Then, if I go for 4.1 also, if I go for 4.1 also to the power 3, it will be like uh, 68.9. Okay, see the options actually. In the options, uh, they are given 4, 4.3, 4.44, 4 4.45. So, 4 is the closest one to the answer, but it will be like a 64, 4 to the power 3. If I take 4 to the power 3, 4.3 cube, it will be 79.5. So, I can take uh, the edge length approximately equal to 4, okay, into 10 power minus 8. Okay, clear? But this 10 power minus 8 can be converted. So it will become 4 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters, which is nothing but this is nothing but 4 angstrom units. Clear? So what is the answer? Answer is option number 3. Right? Question number 4. Sodium metal crystallizes in the BCC pattern and edge length is given 4.29 angstrom units. So what is the radius of the atom here? See here. It is given purely the metallic sodium. Okay. So, therefore, in case of BCC, we have got 4R is equal to square root of 3A and R is equal to square root of 3A divided by 4. Correct. So, what is the square root of 3? Square root of 3 is equal to 1.73 approximately into A is given in terms of angstrom 4.29 angstrom. No need of converting angstrom because answer also in terms of angstroms only. Therefore, divided by 4, this is approximately is equal to 1.85 angstrom units. Okay. So, answer is option number 3. Clear, students? Question number 5. Edge length of the cube is given. A is equal to 300 picometer is given. Correct. So, what is the body diagonal? You know that body diagonal. Okay. What is body diagonal length? 
body diagonal length is equal to in terms of edge length it is the square root of 3 body diagonal okay right so it is equal to square root of 3 into a is given 300 picometer no need of converting the picometer so 1.73 approximately into 300 that will lead to approximately 519 picometers okay right so what is the answer answer is option number 3 clear also remember students edge length is a edge length is a that is the side of the cube right side of the cube it is if they ask you for the face diagonal length face diagonal what is face diagonal length face diagonal length is a square root of 2a and what is the body diagonal remember body diagonal is in terms of square root of 3a okay so remember this is like a square root of 1a this is square root of 2a this is square root of 3a clear students Question number six, number of atoms in 2.4 grams of the body centered cubic with edge length is 200 picometer, density is given and Avogadro number is also given. Question is, 2.4 gram contains how many atoms actually? Okay, you know that there are standard number atoms that is 6.023 into 10 power 23 atoms. Generally, this is present in the, the molar mass of the substance, one molar mass of the substance, correct? That is one mole of the substance. That means you are supposed to calculate the molar mass. Can we calculate molar mass? We can calculate molar mass because I know the density. Okay. So this is a formula. Density D is equal to Zm divided by A cube N. Correct. A cube N. Right. So what is density given? 10 gram per cm cube. Remember student gram per cm cube. Then Z for body center. This is the BCC. Body center Z is equal to into molar mass you have to calculate divided by edge length A. Edge length is a 200 picometer, correct? So it is a 2 into 10 power 2 makes 200 into pico is 10 power minus 12, right? In terms of meters, correct? Which is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 10 in terms of meter. But the unit should be in terms of centimeter because the density is a gram per centimeter cube. So 2 into 10 to the power minus 10 into 1 meter is a 100 centimeter, okay? So finally get 2 into 10 power minus 8 centimeters. So 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter cubic into our gut number. Let me write 6 into 10 power 23 approximation. Okay. So when you calculate this one, we will get it as molar mass will be equal to 24. And the unit is a gram per mole. You know that, right students? Clear? So molar mass is a 24. You know that if I take one mole of the substance, one mole substance contains Avogadro number of atoms. So 24 gram contains 6 into 10 power 23 atoms. 23 atoms. Clear? Therefore 2.4 gram contains how many atoms? So when you cross multiply, you will get the answer as equivalent to, it is like you will get 0.6 into 10 power 23 will get at so many atoms or 6 into 10 power 22 atoms. Okay? Clear? So what is the answer students? Answer is option number 3. Clear? Third one is the answer. Students like the video, share the videos and please do subscribe RD Chemistry. Thank you for watching.